It's supposed to be a moment What good is being the one When you the only one that knows it It's the ISO God in this BITCH You know, squeaky chair in this bitch Now look, man What I'm about to share with you niggas um, I don't think many are among this This frequency that I'm vibrating at for um when it comes to these 2k games man so i figured let me make a video and just sum it up all together on why 2k 18 is the most unrealistic 2k not the most realistic that is public perception of 2k 18 and um y'all let me know if you agree with me so I'm just gonna lay some points. I'm not gonna get too in depth. Cause I could literally do like 80 reasons in this bitch. But um, let me lay some points. And then you you think about it yourself, my nigga. You you think about it yourself. Okay? Now, people have this notion, you know? People have this motherfucking notion that just because this game is so sluggish and clunky. That it's the most realistic 2K. That is literally a hundred. That that's almost a hundred percent of like people think that. All that shit, my nigga. Okay. Now look. Number one. The walking fucking size up. Yes, we've, we've all adapted to it. It's become second nature to many of us. But it's not real when you're moving in real life, when you take one fatal fucking step that you get caught in the animation instantly. It's never been like that in any other 2K. If you move too much of this or that, you get caught in the animation instantly. Instantly. That's... Yeah, that's your whole basic foundation of movement. You get caught in an animation instantly. You're fighting through animations, your whole movement as a as an offensive player. That's not real. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold that L, you feel me? Number one, walking sides up. The most unrealistic shit I've ever seen in any basketball game ever some some niggas you know they they i know why you implemented it mike wayne because you don't want iso dribble gods and shit but they're still here they're they're here stronger than it's than it's i mean maybe not on youtube because the gameplay is just not exciting but when you look niggas is out here isoing my nigga at a, at a at a efficiency rates that's never been seen nigga this is the first year that five out has taken over pro-am why do you think that it, it's not it's not because it's the most realistic 2k that's not why it's because it's the most unrealistic even though i'm a i'm a component of iso okay i love iso i think it's the shit that takes the most skill but how niggas are isoing they're doing it in a way that doesn't take skill. And I'm gonna get to that right here. Now, let's let's talk about the blow by. Okay. Now the blow by is actually a real thing that happens in the NBA, right? It's never been this overpowered in any other 2K. But this year, oh shit, boy. <laughs> blow by on your motherfucking head. Let me tell you why. This is not realistic. Like, like of course, you see LeBron isoing, you know, blow by, blow by, blow by, you know, and you see fucking KD, you know, you, you see all these people, you know, blow by, okay? But listen to this. In 2K, weight is not intangible. Height, archetype does not matter for a blow by. Your defender, it doesn't matter what he is. Basically, you could make a 5'7 sharpshooter and blow by just as efficient as someone who is a 6'10 pure slasher. Your blow.
Mobi is more efficient in Pro-Am than in Park. If, 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 if you guys didn't know that. So let, let's continue with this blow by shit, man. So basically any archetype, it doesn't matter who the defender is. Your blow by is crazy. Now there's a push animation in the park that happens every now and then, but in Pro-Am, that's not there. So you, you, the blow by is so fucking powerful, my nigga, that literally it zaps out the skill gap out the game. It's to a point where in Pro-Am, where it's supposed to be the most realistic part, that's all people go for. You understand that? No dribble move, no, no, no thought. They, they intentionally walk through you and score. It's never been like that in any 2K. Is that real to you, niggas? I, I, I can get on a 6'10 pure sharp. I, I don't have to upgrade anything. Nigga can be a 60. My blow by is just as, you know, just as good at 99 overall pure sharp or a fucking 99 overall pure point forward. It's never been like that in any 2K, my nigga. Now, when it comes to the shooting, man, a lot of y'all think 2K15 was so arcadey and all this shit and all that. You know, yeah, I feel you know. 2K15 wasn't always like that. You feel me? Patch 4 broke 2K15, my nigga. It, it ruined the shooting, period. 2K18 at its current state is basically like that right now, my nigga. Seriously, don't don't be genjutsued by the archetypes, my nigga. Seriously. A lot of y'all, bro, you're you're genjutsued, man. This is it's brilliant marketing because you're you're fucking mind fucked, okay? Listen to me. Listen closely. You guys might think there's so many archetypes that you got so many styles now, but no, it's just like from when it was inside, outside, and fucking balanced, my nigga. But now you, you just, they they make it to where there's so many archetypes to where you spend so much money. But look, here's the sweet spot. So none of us knew exactly 100% what were the best. So that's why so much money was spent. But look, as a 6'7 shot maker, I am a fucking god. I am an all-star. I can ISO. I can take screens. I can fade. I, I could I could do anything. I can spam threes. You feel me? ISO. Just like any other 2K, my nigga. Play sharp. Another god, god archetype. That is, it's basically the the outside PG for fucking um past 2Ks, my nigga. A lot of people think, man, that people miss past 2k's because of the superstar shit and all that but in 2k18 you still have the superstars my nigga you have the builds that can do everything pure stretch can do everything everything you don't need a glass cleaner it's obsolete and and a lot of y'all think that these pure archetypes they can't hit from three look back when i used to be on my pro-am shit i used to play with a nigga called fucking legend or some shit he had a pure athletic finisher and there was some other nigga who had a pure athletic finisher they would stand in the corner and bang threes od od okay but the thing was when you played good people which was very few it was only be comp teams but if you played bum pro-am teams you could still five out with that pure archetype and it's just like in 2k17 but niggas aren't hip you're not hit, my nigga. Like, people thought back in 2K17, you know, man, if, if I still have a glass cleaner, man, I can still hit threes. You can still do that this year. You just have to have your hot spots and all that shit, just like last year, my nigga. Stay woke, my nigga. Like, like for instance, man, the speed boost and sharp in 2K17. Don't get me wrong, man. I, I hated this 2K with, with a fucking passion, but... The speed boost and sharp in 2K17, man. You guys have to look through it, bro. Just because there's a different name for it doesn't mean it's different, my nigga. Just because it has a, a couple different badges doesn't mean it's different. The speed boosting sharp is basically a play sharp in 2K17, bro. Stay woke. But instead of being 6'2, you could be 6'7, my nigga. Stay woke.
and you can break ankles at a high percent. Stay woke, my nigga. Let's go on to another thing, man. The snatchback, okay? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's real, my nigga. It's real. But not everyone can do it at a super high rate. You feel me? At a super high rate. Yeah, James Harden can do it, you know? You know, a few others. But in 2K18, any archetype can do it. Any archetype can do it. It can be exploited to where it makes this the most dumbed down, easiest 2K ever. Look, I play with this nigga, who else D? I, I ain't dissing the nigga, right? He like, uh, he's a slasher shot creator. Cause get, get it how you live it, my nigga. Now, if he's, he's dumb, right? He ain't got a lot of IQ, my nigga. But look, he be exploiting on that nigga, bro. Every play, he literally runs into you or gets the blow by. He gets the blow by, or if he sees it's not working, he'll snatch back. He'll, he'll run into you, snatch back, get the animation go one way and then do another snatch back and probably try to get a fucking ankle breaker or he'll just keep doing it till he has an open lane or can blow by you at the perfect angle to where it's a dunk. That's what it's come to, my nigga? Seriously? No speed boosting, just wiggling. Runs it and you can do this method. Niggas aren't hip, bro. You can do this with a stretch, a sharp... S say for instance i'm a sharp right i can run into you snatch back go at a certain angle until i get the perfect angle for an open lane i i can run into you snatch back go backwards you're kind of like you're you're stuck in the animation go one way snatch back again go that way and then if you if you're still capping up with me i'll snatch and just repeat and i can either shoot the shot at any time or i, I have an open lane has it has it ever been this easy to score in any other 2K? That that's real to you niggas? You you can get you could get a pure slasher. You could get a 7-3 pure athletic finisher. And you can snatch back and hit at the midi. Dang. At a unbelievable rate, my nigga. Seriously. If you're nice, bro. If you're a little cheeser exploiter. Or if you're decent, you don't even have to be nice. You just have to know how to do it and practice it and then bang. Has it ever been this easy to score in any other 2K? Lockdowns have been more useless this year than in any other 2K. Any, any, this is the worst year for defensive builds. They don't matter. It's a genjutsu. You can get a pure lockdown. It, it doesn't matter. Any build can blow by you. That's real? Is that real? 17. At least niggas, you know, I felt the presence of a lock. I was one of the, I was probably one of the few niggas who could ISO a lock efficiently, nigga. But I had to play completely different, bro. I had to do more wiggle movement and shit. But it, it's like it's like for a lock, even a lock, you 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 still feel every ankle breaker that that's coming. It's it's like it doesn't matter that you are a lock, that your defense is all the way up. Now other people say other two Ks because, like like for instance for two K fifteen, you know you could spam the sixteen, you know, but that shit is in eighteen. You know that right? That shit could be utilized. Niggas just don't use it. You can use 18 too. But niggas don't use it because they, look, if they implemented how to not spam 16 and 18 and pass 2Ks, how would y'all feel about that? For for what's like most realistic and unrealistic. And and niggas, niggas, get don't don't get it twisted, my nigga. The reason why I boast a lot in my videos. Is because I know when I make a video complaining about something or pointing out a flaw and all this shit, niggas gonna say, you're ass. Oh, you must have got cooked by him. Oh, you suck. You you must like never win. That's why I have to give niggas my resume. 
let them niggas know I'm I'm that nigga. Look, it, it's to a point. It's to a point. Seriously. And I, I don't have to warm up for this. Seriously. Listen, my nigga. It's to a point to where I don't have to hone my abilities. I don't have to practice. I can get my 6'7 shot maker. I can drop 50 plus every time without trying for it versus 90% of Pro-Am teams or I can get 25 plus assists that game. Every time, ISOing, five outing. I know I'm nice, but I don't have to practice for it. I can just get online, walk through niggas, snatch back. There, look, there's a thing where you can, you can act like you're gonna blow by somebody and just walk backwards and hit the midi. That's real? That's real, my nigga? Never in any 2K has it been this easy to score, my nigga. Do you hear me? And there's there's no real defense for it. But besides playing amazing help D and baiting like crazy. I'm telling you, bro. Stay woke, my nigga. Stay woke. 8 2K18 is easily the most unrealistic 2K, bro. And a lot of people, well, not a lot. The people who are like really good at the game, the niggas are like the geeks. They're not. These niggas are really not shit, if we're being honest. But the niggas who are the top 1% of 2K, they too agree that this is the most unrealistic 2K. It, it, ju just because you break your movement to where you're always in a slow ass animation and you, you slow down your gameplay and you make it much less fluid and blocky. That, that doesn't mean that your game's more realistic. You guys have to understand that, my nigga. I can't find many reasons that show me that 2K18 is more realistic than past 2Ks, bro. Seriously. The shooting is up there with the most toxic cancering of them. Cancerous of them. The dribbling, okay, 17, it had some real, like, that... That double momentum spam shit, that shit shouldn't have been in the game. Niggas should only been able to do that like sometimes. You shouldn't have been able to go from full court all the way, all the way down there. <laughs> y'all, y'all dribble heads, y'all know what I'm talking about. You shouldn't have been able to do some shit like that. But and, and with 2K15, how you could spam 16 and 18 and shit like that. But those those are little things. Those are animations. Okay? Those are animations. If they weren't fucking stupid and just took it out the game, my nigga. You know, listen, literally no one wanted 16 to be in the game, bro. Look, look, look. Fifth crossover 16, by the way, to be in the game. Crossover, it, it, it's like all the top people would tell these niggas to take it out the game, but they didn't. It's an anna. If you didn't have no crossover 16 or fucking um, crossover 18 in 2K15 and just crossover two. How was that movement? Fluid, speedy. What was so unrealistic about it? What, what, besides two animations, now with 18, every step you take is unrealistic. You're instantly in a walking size up. You're instantly fighting a walking size up. There's no free movement. You're stuck in an animation, my nigga. That's what I'm trying to tell you, niggas, bro. Besides a few things, like, like, like for instance, 2K15, you could make a fucking 7-3 fucking um center that, that could fucking dribble low-key. What's that? A 7-3 pure stretch with glitched animation. It's the same shit, my nigga. It's the same shit. Stay woke. Stay woke. You can find an archetype that, like, look, for instance, niggas say certain archetypes broke certain games, but you can find that archetype in 18. There's literally zero paint defense. Paint defense has never been this ass. Is that realistic though? Is it really that easy for niggas to bang on niggas inside the paint in real life? No. I mean, I, I've 
I think I've laid some pretty good points, my nigga. Niggas all of a sudden see, see speed and they think unrealistic. It's not true, bro. Go go to the stage. Go go to the stage. Watch the geeks play. See how they play. You let me know if that's real. What you gotta understand is for every 2K, the best people, they're not gonna be playing on a real level, okay? And that's okay, okay? It's okay as long as you create some type of balance, my nigga. Like 2K16, bro, you know? A lot of people say, not a lot of people, bum niggas, they say 2K16 speed boosting was a problem. That's why it got taken out at the very end. No, it wasn't a problem, my nigga. It was a problem for bum niggas because it created such a skill gap and niggas couldn't keep up, right? So what they wanted to do, they wanted to take out speed boosting and see like what, what were the effects, what how, how the community liked it. They wanted to observe it. That's why they put speed boosting back in 17, my nigga, because it was a failure and it killed their fucking game. All those niggas who cried about it and all that shit, saying it was too fast, they didn't play it during patch six. All the niggas that came in my stream, they was like, oh, you, you, you suck now, you can't speed boost. Still dropping 21 every fucking game, nigga. Unstoppable. All they did was make the gameplay slow and boring. 2K18. Why, why, why do you think they experimented with that? Because they knew the 2K League was coming up. They wanted to experiment with certain gameplay things to see where they could try and make 2K go into an esports route. I don't, I don't know, man. I, I kind of, I kind of think I've laid out some pretty strong points that really cannot be refuted, my nigga. You know, um, this is strictly off the top of the dome. I ain't write this shit down or or none of that shit, my nigga. And um. I think I laid some good points, my nigga. Like, basically, the whole consensus of my argument is, um, things might seem one way, but it's not true, my nigga. In the past 2Ks, if they tweaked a few things, they would be easily, it, it would be easily way more realistic than what we have with 2K18. The foundation of 18 is unrealistic slow clunky molasses blocky movement that's not real i know a lot of y'all y'all don't go outside and see people in real life and watch basketball and shit but niggas dribble you can dribble in at too you know dribbling is real niggas not stuck in slow clunk clunky animations niggas can keep spamming the same move over and over again you feel me and not get tired you know, you can do it in 18 too. You can do it in every 2K. So, I really, I don't know, man. I feel alone, my nigga. I, I, I feel like there's not a lot of people who really think like this. The only reason I voted 10 on that poll is because I was looking at it from the perspective of how the devs look at to the, the 2Ks. But in all real, re oh shit! In all reality, this is the most unrealistic. I don't know. That's how I view it. Y'all let me know if I'm right or if I'm wrong. I don't know. It's like let, let me give you another let me let me give you another example, bro. You know how in every 2K you gotta upgrade your player. You gotta get them to this much or that much, and just to be able to compete with niggas, right? You gotta upgrade him, you gotta get his badges. With this 2K, you don't have to, my nigga. Do you hear me? You can make a 7-3 pure stretch and basically be a 7-3 pure stretch with badges. You hear me? You you can make a, you can make um some type of dribbling archetype to ISO it. You're, you can basically be as efficient as a badged out build all you would have to do instead of waiting for an ankle breaker even though that shit might come even without the badge you just do blow buys you'll still have the same speed and and you'll be able to do the pro three yeah, i'm trying to tell you my nigga. 
this this is the only 2k to where you don't you know you don't i don't, I don't know man make sure y'all follow me on twitch and follow me on twitter follow all my social media links in the motherfucking description bro this was just a rant i'm not trying to prove anything you bitch it's just something to talk about fuck niggas it's youtube man i'm expressing my opinion Stop getting so offended about fucking YouTube videos and writing fucking paragra paragraphs. Little annoying motherfuckers, man. Niggas is weird as shit, bro. God damn. Hope you niggas have a beautiful day. I love all of you niggas.